Okay, to address some of the questions that came up under public communication. Um, the chart that was given out, I, I don't know if the numbers are 100% accurate, but I do know the point they're making is correct. The 15,000 per student does not reflect the town of Enfield funding the new schools and um, the maintenance of the school buildings. People say, well, the state of Connecticut paid um, for the new schools. No, the state covered 70%. The town of Enfield covered 30%. And I believe between the two is $50 million that is coming out of taxpayers' pockets here in Enfield. All of it's coming out of our pockets one way or another, but directly $50 million. So if you add that share to the cost for the students and the other things that this council does, like the SROs and stuff like that, if it is $95 million, as the gentleman said, divide that by 4,600 students, which is what they're saying is the current um, enrollment, that's $20,652.17 per student. Another person came up and said, oh, don't use the schools. We can't use the buildings. That's, that doesn't work. Of course, it doesn't work for your narrative. OK, but it does work for the real numbers and the numbers don't lie. If using the cost per student is the way to base a great education, then why is the highest cost per student in the state of Connecticut the worst school system? And that's the city of Hartford. I do believe in funding the schools, and I definitely support the referendum for the grammar schools. I think it was a, a great thing that this town did, the councils did, with the high school and JFK, and we need to finish it. Unfortunately, in this budget, if it doesn't pass, we're in trouble because the school roofs and the boilers and all the other maintenance things that have been ongoing, they're completely cut out of this budget. So. Please help us support the budget in November. I support it, and we have to. The schools have been neglected. I'm not going to get into politics or the 15 years or 30 years. It doesn't matter at this point. The schools have been neglected since the day they were built, and we're doing our share to make it right. I find it very disheartening that of the people who spoke about our $1.4 million cut to the Board of Education, out of 42,000 residents that came, only the teachers came. And the teachers are the one directly affected and who deal with my grandchildren on a daily basis. But what they didn't say, or um, a comment was made that we made our budget behind closed doors. All the budgets were public. And I saw some of the Board of Education members there. We were concerned that there's a million dollars in the cafeteria fund. Somebody says we can't use it. The state hasn't made the decision on that yet. Also, the other 400,000 I was looking at was 600,000 for this private security force that has zero authority in the schools. A teacher with a walkie talkie is just as useful as hiring $600,000 worth of security guards. So there's the 400,000 and with the remaining 200,000, I wanted to fund more SROs, which are actual police officers, because they're the ones who are gonna make the difference when it comes down to an incident that none of us even wanna talk about. So there's the million four that we were reducing the increase by. So if they got the cafeteria fund for the million dollars from the school and they followed what I was proposing for that 400,000, it would have been a zero cut to you guys, nothing. It would have been fully funded. So I just wanted to clarify that. Um, uh, the basketball court at uh, Wall of School Park. We can't just keep bulldozing parks. Every time there's a problem, we're bulldozing them. And that's the answer. And some of you now, because you want to fund schools, say bulldoze a park. But when Brainerd Park was an issue, everybody was up in arms. Don't touch Brainerd Park. Leave it alone. We have to fund schools. We have to fund parks. We have to fund everything. But there's only so much money to go around. We're trying, all of us, and we put a lot of time into this. We may not agree with each other. We may have different ways to do it. Look at the amount of money that's been invested in the school system buildings since the town took them over. That's all I'm asking you. The town is trying its best. We're dealing with a sinkhole right now that's going to cost 
you and me, I'm going to say two, three hundred thousand dollars to fix. Unexpected. Before noontime today, we didn't have to spend it. Now we do. So um, again, my biggest concern is if that referendum don't pass, this budget is a serious problem. Thank you.